Hey guys, once again, we're back talking about doctrine. Uh, this is actually going to be the last doctrinal video I make regarding the doctrine that we have posted on our website for what we believe here at Christian Fellowship Church. And so today we're going to talk about ordinances. Uh, what do we hold as scriptural ordinances? Let me read to you exactly what we have written on our webpage under the tab, What We Believe. It says, we recognize baptism by immersion and the Lord's Supper as the scriptural ordinances of obedience for the church in this age. So let's tackle that first one, baptism by immersion. Uh, why immersion? Why not splashing or sprinkling? Well, the word baptism is a, a Greek word and it literally means to dip. Those who worked in the fabric industry uh, would use this word and it meant to take a piece of fabric and dip it into a vat of dye. And when that fabric came out of that dye, it would have taken on the color of that dye. And that's a great representation of what baptism is for us. When we get baptized, what we are showing is that we take on the life of Christ. Uh, we are represent representatives of him. We're going to now live for him, leaving our sinful past behind. Uh, baptism doesn't mean um, that you're saved. It adds nothing to your salvation. It's just a, uh, a outward expression of an inward decision to follow Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Uh, in Matthew chapter 28, we read this. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And so the great commission that Jesus gave to his apostles for the church age was to go and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so that command is for us today. And so that's why we hold to that ordinance of baptism. Uh, the second one is the Lord's Supper. Uh, in 1 Corinthians 11, chapter 20, uh, 1 Corinthians 11, verses 23 through 26, the Apostle Paul says, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this. Whenever you drink it, in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. And so here at Christian Fellowship Church, we believe in uh, communion and it's a remembrance view. Uh, we don't believe in transubstantiation. We don't believe that uh, something miraculous happens to uh, the grape juice and the, and the bread. It's a symbol. And when we take that, it is an act of remembering what Christ did on our behalf. Uh, whenever we, we take that bread, we think of his body being broken. And whenever we uh, drink the cup, we think of his blood being spilled on that cross uh, for us. And so there's nothing miraculous that happens. Again, it doesn't add to your salvation. Um, it is a simple act to jog the memory. Uh, to remember that sacrificial act that Christ did on our behalf. Uh, he was the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And so those are the two ordinances we believe. I know some churches add foot washing. Uh, we don't hold to that as an ordinance. We believe that foot washing was a, a symbol of service, a humble service, and that can be done in many different ways. In that early church time period, it was. Uh, foot washing, that was a servant's job. It was a way to show that you were being humble if you were to wash somebody else's feet. Uh, but that can be done in many different ways of service. And so we don't hold that as an ordinance. Uh, the principle we do, but not the actual foot washing. And so those are the two ordinances we believe. Uh, baptism by immersion and the Lord's Supper. And so uh, if you'd come here, you would see us baptizing and you would see us uh, practicing the Lord's Supper. And so that's it. It's good talking to you guys about doctrine, and I'll see you on the flip side.